what is going on guys and welcome back to halo 3 lasso last time we left off we um finished crow's nest it took two parts about an hour and a half of recording for me to finish crow's nest and we just struggled the entire or i just struggled the entire fucking time just absolutely getting destroyed in every section of the level that inv involves combat and we're just having a terrible time getting super frustrated especially in the hangar section and in that section where the pelican comes in with all the jetpack brutes those two sections just i was just losing my mind um but we finally got it done took about an hour and a half still not really that bad compared to most of the halo 2 levels I, that i beat um but i was pretty frustrated because that was supposed to be one of the easier ones on the campaign and i was just bleh, fucking everything up but this one should be hopefully easier than that um it's another uh easier mission i think salvo highway most of it's gonna be spent um, in a Warhog, so, or in any vehicle for that matter. Um, hopefully this, uh, this mission is a bit less, um, infuriating. I don't get nearly as mad. Hopefully it's going to be like Serial 117 where I kind of go through it semi-smoothly. Probably will expect some fuck-ups and some death, but, um, hopefully nothing too crazy. So, anyway, going to go ahead and start this up, guys. Man, I'm just, I am not excited for this if... You know, it's always the easier missions I fuck up on. But like, god dang, Crow's Nest was so bad. Kind of remind me of um, Uprising. And Halo 2, I remember I fucked that mission up a lot. What happened? Chief, please respond. What is your status? Over. If you can hear me, find you can transport. Walk, set your boots Head on the, the line. Tower. Chief's got the right idea. Let's mount up. Get the hell out of these caves. Get me some targets. I right, need two people in this warhog. Here we go. But for this next section, we need to get a bubble shield. right here for a bit. Advance. So we can get this brute um, in this next section. Oh my. I don't think he dropped a... I hope he didn't drop a bubble shield. So we need a bubble shield and we need to carry it through, through the entire level. So if he doesn't drop a, a bubble shield, we just gotta basically restart the level. So I'm just obviously you know where I'm gonna go, so I'm just gonna skip this little bit right here just to save a little bit of time. You don't really need to see when I'm, we really didn't do anything here, so. I mean, once again, didn't drop, didn't drop a uh, bubble shield. Finally dropped the bubble shield. God dang, like five attempts. We need to kill those two um, indigs. Sure 
Oh, get the fuck out. Actually, no, it makes more sense, hold on. It makes more sense for the guy in the back to get the uh, beam rifle, but I'm just doing this to conserve. When you kill that, um, that brute with the fuel rod gun, fuel rod cannon, whatever. I'm gonna try to angle it this way so the freaking um, marine won't can't um, get inside and drive off because after so often they'll freaking drive off. I'm gonna need the warhog for this part. They can walk to it. It's not gonna work. There. Now we're gonna use the beam rifle basically to um, kill this the enemies in this next section. But specifically, we need to kill the fuel rod gun brute. Only not only because it's gonna do a shit ton of damage if he hits us with it, but we also need it for the uh, passenger. Do you see how I got out like that? Because he's kind of trying to enter the vehicle. Right ammo. No problem because we can just grab the beam rifle off this jackal. The main threat and the main re main thing we need to kill there was the um, fuel rod brute. We're gonna give our passenger, we're gonna give our passenger uh, fuel rod gun, fuel rod can, whatever. Get the fuck out. Dang, that freaking took no shield. It's not ideal, but... Maybe we can, ch we can check if we have a... We can check if we have that. Battle rifle. 
passenger. Now we're just going to kill all the enemies in this next section, one by one, so we can clear it out. We can skip this section by driving through, but obviously I have like no shield right now. Um, it's just safer to do it this way. I'm almost out of ammo in this VR already. Fuck, he saw me, god damn, I forgot about the jackals up there. I didn't think they'd see me from that far away. Well, there's our first death, but overall we did pretty good. And the section after this is going to be tricky. All we got to do in this section is clear out all enough enemies so we can drive through without dying. That's basically all we're doing. There's also a jackal over here somewhere that runs to the tower. Yeah, it goes behind that rock and runs to the top. He's already in the tower, okay. Didn't think he ran into the tower yet. All we gotta do is clear out this section, drive through, or not clear it out completely, but drive drive through this section and then assassinate a chieftain or a chieftain, which is It'll be harder than it sounds. Bitch. Okay, bro. See him now. God, there's another fucking jackal sniper in that tower. Fuck. I don't think he could see me from that far. These guys' range are, is insane. Jackal snipers have been getting me so far. That's about it. They don't miss. They're not as accurate as they are on Halo 2, but they don't fucking miss in this one either. They've been getting me all the time on my first shot. Okay, there's four jackals. One right there. Okay, two. Two. One up there on that fucking tower. And one on this tower right here. And he somehow fucking saw me. Anyway, we need to kill that brute right there because he has a brute shot. And if he hits me with that shit, it's going to flip. I got to do more hog and I'm just going to die. So. I don't know if I have enough ammo to kill him. He's hiding behind that fucking shade turret, but we can get distance enough away from the shade turret where it won't fire at us, we're gonna get the Warhog out and destroy that shade turret with the Warhog. Or rather the fuel rod cannon passenger. like that and we're just gonna drive back.
Well, we'll get full shield when we melee that chieftain, and then if not, well, obviously we're gonna get full shield from meleeing the chieftain. But um, All right, so yeah, that's the guy right there we need to get. Right ammo. Luckily, we can get into this tower now because that shade turret's dead. We can get in this tower and grab this beam rifle ammo. If we need even more, we can get something to trade for it. And get the guy, the turret guys. Is that not just shooting three times in the face? Holy shit. I need an angle on that brute shot brute over here. Damn, I'm already out of my ammo. Just so we can trade for that beam rifle or we can try to go up on this wall. I don't think I can make that jump and that brute's over there waiting to fuck us up. So it'd be better off if I just grab that assault rifle that's over there on that warhog. Or plasma pistol and just trade for a beam rifle off the turret guy. So really its sole purpose is just to bring weapons for us. So we're just gonna get this plasma pistol. It'll despawn eventually, but we do need to keep that fuel rod gun, fuel rod cannon ready. Let's go for a drive. You got it, Chief. You yeah. drive. I'll navigate. Alright, so I got my no shield, which is good. We just need to finish them off with a burst of the head. Okay, we're completely out of BR ammo. I don't know how I managed that. I got ammo at the beginning of the fucking level. I don't know how I used all of it already. We're completely out of fucking ammo right now. Same problem I had fucking last mission. Now I have no ranged weapon to kill the guy with. I'm going to go sneak over here and grab it. Grab a beam rifle from the fucking, um... A beam rifle from this bridge right here and hopefully not die to the fucking brute. At, even though I have no fucking shield. Oh, great. Great, 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 great. They say open up and say ah. Don't really have to worry about the grunts. We just need to kill out, need to clear out that shade turret. With the fuel rod gun and then the next section we'll trade it out before we go to the next section we need to trade it back out for what what are you doing I call shotgun well what did you do to begin with and you start doing retarded shit over there for some reason. He's not. We need a traitor. I don't think they can take root shots. So. There you go. You drive. I'll navigate. We gotta drive through this.
Okay, he was not supposed to immediately shoot me like that. Anyway, the, the chieftain right there with the fucking fuel rod gun, I gotta assassinate him, get back in the warhog, get behind that building, get BR ammo, because I need fucking BR. Shoot four um, fuel rod um, projectiles at the fucking wall. Shield wall. And get back in the warhog. Well, I was supposed to assassinate him, but he threw a fucking goddamn flare and flipped the Warhog anyway, so I, probably, I was probably fucked. If the fucking machine gun guy immediately targets the the uh, chieftain, then I'm kind of fucked because he'll just immediately shoot at me. There we go. Have the ammo. Around here. The back of this. Over here. Right the door. Hit the dirt! Grenade! Oh, now this just sucks. Alright, let's hit down! I somehow missed that. I thought I lined it up perfectly. I don't know if I had to save and quit there. I don't know how much fuel rod ammo I need. I need to aim a little higher than I did. But we need to do that from a distance. Break the shield and then drive through. I wish I could assassinate this chieftain with no effort. But... Well, it didn't matter anyway because they destroyed my fucking warhog. He just bitch slaps me to fucking death. Struggling this section pretty bad too, guys. All I need to do is assassinate this chieftain, but I can't fucking pull it off. Then we gotta hit that shot with the fuel rod gun. Fuel rod cannon. I keep calling it gun for some reason. Fuel rod cannon. I didn't need to splatter her him. Someone threw a grenade and knocked him off. I might be fucked here. Okay, but fuck it, we'll hit the goddamn shot. We're in route to boy, Chief. Where is my teammates? Jumped, Why did they all jump Pretty out? Much ruined our day. I was way too low. Once again, way too fucking low. What the fuck? Hold on, I gotta look up the video, guys, because I'm just, I'm completely fucking up this lineup every time. That's twice in a row. Hold on. Alright, I think I figured it out. I think. I threw a grenade again. That didn't matter. I need you to, I need you to not piss off that guy. Wait, how am I still no shield? I just meleeed a fucking brute in the boy, back. Chief. That and makes Chief absolutely no sense. Pretty much ruined our day. Get the damn turret. All right, we got it. We're at no shield right now for some reason, even though I just meleeed a fucking. Dog. Yeah, we just have no shield, and plus I went a terrible route. Fuck! How did I get no shield there? I must have took, like, the teeniest bit of damage when I meleeed that fucking brute, that fucking chieftain, because I had no shield immediately after I meleeed him. 
But anyway, we got the freaking fuel rod can lined up and done. So all we gotta do is the same thing we just did. Wish that person would stop throwing grenades at him. Not the fucking chieftain. I wish I wish my fucking That's not an assassination? And I should be full shield. Now I'm losing more health. Now there's a fucking chopper right there. Dude, quit throwing grenades. Oh my god, annoying ass. And now I can't make this fucking jump. Okay, standing up, line the shot up. You're right here. That's my fucking... What? When did I... I'm starting to get like frustrated again. Jump up here. There we go. Why are all the way over here? Get the fuck out. I get fuck like automotive skills. Alright, we may pass this spot. Then yeah, also despawn the drones there over here. Alright, so now I'm just gonna stop right here. Jump over this. Use this. Get full shield. Get the fuck out of the Warhog, you dumb hoe. Oh my god. You got it, Chief. You drive. I'll navigate. I guess it wouldn't really matter. Well, no, because I gotta make the jump right here. Kill all the grunts over here because they have plasma grenades and plasma grenades are bad. Anyway, we need to drop. Yeah, kill as many grunts as we can before those jetpack brutes get over here. That should be most of them. Now we need to get a plasma pistol. And juggle this. The gravity lift over. the edge, or the bubble shield over the edge. Like that. See if we can sneak up more grunt kills. The less grunts the better. I think they're pretty much all dead. Except for like two right there, but it's fine. They're not even focused on my area, but I need a plasma pistol for the section two. Um, for the next section after this. We're gonna use a gravity lift to make this jump. A 
Hopefully I don't fuck it up. I did not. Go back over here. Hop out. Grab the bubble shield. Turn around. Back in the Warhog and then drive through. Went too fast. Now I can't straighten up the Warhog. And now I'm dead. See, I went too fast there like a dumbass. Oh my god. All I had to do was drive through those pipes. Guess what I didn't do? Drive through the fucking pipes. Now I gotta do all that shit again. Don't forget the bubble shield. Don't forget to be go slow on this fucking part. Jesus. Oh my god. I cannot drive a fucking Warhog. And of course he focuses me. Oh my god, dude. I cannot drive. No, I don't want to restart the fucking mission. I cannot fucking drive. I flipped every possible opportunity. I fucking flipped the goddamn Warhog. It's absolutely mind-boggling. There's no way, dude. I hate how I melee them in the back and they don't die. I just love that feature. Same shit happened in Halo 2. Like, how square on their back do I need to fucking be? I guess pretty fucking square. So I'm just going to make sure I take the extra second to line up the fucking melee every time. Because clearly trying to rush it and hitting the fucking their fucking waist or whatever I'm fucking hitting is just a terrible option. Why are you still looking at me, dude? There's fucking Marines shooting at you, and you just decide to fucking look at me instead. Fucking crazy. Great! Master Chief circling that hill! Fruit choppers too, so stay sharp! Attack! Oh, get the fuck out. Shotgun! Give me a range! Yeah, plasma pistol back. We have the plasma pistol and the BR. I'll just take him over here. Let the fucking. I need the Marines to kill the choppers. That's their sole purpose right now. That one should be dead there. Maybe not.
Dude, my fucking W key is so fucked. That's why I keep stopping. Anyway, I'm pretty sure I need that fuel rod gun back, so... Anyway, I gotta sit in this corner right here until Sergeant Johnson says a certain dialogue option. So it takes a couple minutes, so I'm just gonna skip ahead. But I cannot shoot or anything in the section where the Wraith will fire at me and I'll just die because I gotta avoid Wraith um, warriors the entire time. So, But I'm just gonna wait here until Sergeant Johnson says his dialogue. I just the audio cue. Takes a few minutes. Once we get the audio cue, we can head, we can head back. And we cleared out those um, those choppers, so we don't have to deal with them on our way back. Still some brutes and stuff here. Let's get them. And not. Fucking die. Jesus Christ. Unfortunately, we're at no shield now. Make sure we don't fucking fall. We're gonna go all the way back to the beginning of the level, pretty much. It's unfortunate that we just got fucking shot at. Because full shield would have been nice for the next section, at the last section of the fucking level. We're gonna have to soak up some damage. I don't know how we're gonna do that now once we got because we got hit by the fucking fuel rod. I'm just gonna fast forward this. We're just gonna walk till we get to that one section with the war flipped over war hog where we assassinated that chieftain. We're just gonna go back to that section, so what the fuck? What's that brood doing up there? I mean, like I said, we're just walking back, so we're just gonna fast forward, so save some time. Yeah, here's the Warhog I was talking about. Just a second ago, we're gonna go over here and grab some extra BR ammo. Just make sure we're full on that. It'd be nice if we had a regen or something over here, too, to um, make sure we have full health, but it doesn't look like it. At this point, I need to make sure I have my bubble shield, which I do. Because for the last section, we need a bubble shield. And a fuel rod cannon. Which actually, we're going to go over here to the chieftain's body. Well, no, the weapon's probably despawned by now. I just got to hope and pray I have enough ammo in the fucking fuel rod cannon to destroy the turret in that last section. Sucks over no shield, though. Oh, those enemies despawn on the second time around. They shouldn't even have been there in the first place. But we're going to go all the way back here. Just past this. That barricade. We're going to go a little bit further just to make sure. I'm back around. So, like I said, we're just gonna speed this up. Just get past that barricade and let in that first little section right there next to that um, sniper's nest. You'll hit all those zones you need to despawn the wraiths and most of the choppers um, before that like second to last section. But we're just gonna speed this up because you don't need to see this. Whatever, they didn't do any damage that time. Like I said, we're going all the way back to where we were. Right here. Last time I'll be coming through this section. I said all the wraiths should be despawns. My driving is terrible. We go on here to get to the road. Gates 
This is gonna be a problem because, like I said, I need to tank some of these shots. I guess, yeah, like I said, this is gonna suck because I have no shield. We're gonna have to, like skip through an enemy and tank some shots, but since I got hit with a fuel rod cannon, trying to get to where I needed to be because honestly there wasn't supposed to be any enemies in that area after I fucking waited there for so long. I guess I was there too long and the Phantom dropped in new enemies and fucked it up. I don't know. Open her up. But because of that, I got hit with a fuel rod cannon and fucking lost all my fucking health. Yep, see. I would have survived had I had, had any health. It literally took one carbine shot to kill me. But we need to hide right there until the enemies calm down. Peek, peek out. Shoot down the shade turret and then shoot out the shield um, on that cave or that tunnel and then throw a bubble shield down and we'll activate the final cutscene. This is literally the last part of the level right here. I just need to not fucking die. Which is a tall order considering I have no fucking shield. Out here for like 20 30 seconds the enemy has to calm down forget my that i'm here then we gotta shoot out the shade turret and then we gotta shoot out the fucking wall there if i don't have the fuel rod i might be fucked if i don't have the fuel rod cannon ammo i'm not gonna be able to do this oh my god oh my god Okay, there's the turret dead. Now we gotta wait like another 20 sec 20 30 seconds for the enemies to reset. And then we'll take out the shield generator wall thing. And once we do that, we can throw our bubble shield down. Once we get underneath this, this trailer, the semi trailer. Once we get underneath that, then we can um Yep, we just activated that. Let the enemies calm down once more. When they're like 30 seconds. And then the moment of truth is now. Because I have no fucking shield. I have to somehow make it without over here without getting shot enough to die. Here comes some uh, fucking friendly marines. I gotta move forward. There we go, we did it. Alright, that's Savo Highway. Hood, that was a lot more smoother it. than... Years, that was a lot more smooth than, um... Crow's Nest was. Only fucked up really on driving. Um, what is that? Uh, no. Like I said, we just had a, the only... To fuck that up, basically, is by killing the enough brutes to where it won't trigger the cutscene at the end there. Um, and the reason I need to kind of rush there is because the marines are kind of pushing up into that area and they're going to toss grenades and can possibly kill enough brutes to make sure I don't get the ending cutscene and that will be kind of fucked. And I also need a few rod cannon ammo so I can take out the shade turret and the shield. Doing those two things and getting to that area would have, uh, that certain like area would uh, trigger the cutscene, but... The only real problem I had with this level was just fucking was uh driving. Like I flipped the tr the Warhog all over a lot of times and because of that I ended up dying, but and then that sniper jackals at the beginning as well, but um overall not too bad. Definitely not as frustrating as Crow's Nest. It only took me about an hour to do that. Um because of just how long it was to go like back and forth through the level and the de deaths and stuff and it took me 10 minutes just to get the bubble shield in the first fucking part they had to bring with you the entire level but um, overall not bad pretty smooth the next mission is going to be the storm hopefully it's going to be just as easy as sierra 117 Sabo Highway. Well, I, I would say this is i would still say um sierra 117 is the easiest because you had the arbiter the whole time in this mission you didn't have arbiter at all 
you really didn't have Arbiter at all during Crow's Nest either. So, um, hopefully, um, like I said, Storm would be um, easy as well. But um, we'll see. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the Storm.